Hello, brothers and sisters. Today is April 29th, 2020. And just a few minutes ago, I posted a video about a vision I had last night. And in the vision, I saw a bag. And on the outside of the bag was the word DARPA. And I knew that on the inside of the bag was a big ball. Even though I didn't see it, I knew there was a big ball inside of that bag and that the ball would be coming out of the bag soon. So I was just led to put in, in Google, I just put in DARPA ball. And right away, this article came up. Ball aerospace. So I'm just going to read this article to you. Membrane optical imager for real-time ex exploitation. Breaking the glass ceiling. There's a growing desire to learn more about the world and the universe we live in. These new missions are often hampered by launch vehicle size, development time, and cost issues related to aperture size. That's why we developed a revolutionary new way to construct very large aperture telescopes. Working under a 2010 contract from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, we designed, built, and validated more, a technology that util utilizes replicated diffractive optics. Hmm. Using a very thin transparent membrane, segments are etched with a diffraction pattern, the primary optical element used to focus light. This design can be rapidly manufactured, significantly reducing costs compared to reflective systems, and is extremely lightweight, enabling the use of existing launch vehicles. Our game-changing approach allows the production of 20-meter-plus apertures that dwarf any space telescope currently under development. <clears throat> the James Webb Space Telescope, the largest telescope built to fly in space, is only 6.5 meters. As the prime contractor for the MORE program, we assembled a complete end-to-end -end demonstration telescope. The optical and imaging quality of the telescope was measured for a single panel with color correction over a narrow spectral bandwidth, showing the quality imaging capabilities of this new technology. The technology matured for the MORE program enables narrow band persistent real-time video of areas on the Earth from geo synchronous orbit 22,000 miles above the surface. Ball's work on more draws on our experience designing, manufacturing, and testing large optics for programs like the James Webb Space Telescope and Kepler. Do you need a satellite that can perform remote sensing for greenhouse gases or high data rate communication links for planetary exploration? By using re replicated diffractive optics, we can make even large aperture missions a success. Technology applications include persistent surveillance, long distance optical communications, earth science and targeted astrophysics missions. This design can be used for many narrow spectral bandwidth applications. Large diameter, lightweight aperture telescopes enable high resolution, low light science imagery at a reasonable mission cost. This enables more to perform exoplanet spectrum, spectrometry missions, a follow on step for the ball led Kepler mission. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. Love you all. Jesus is coming. Hold fast.